Hi guys, it's Adele from Inky Quill and this isn't a process video today but it's more of a layout review. So the last couple of days I've done a few layouts um, after I did my 12 by 12 inspiration at home one I was in the mood to do some more 12 by 12 layouts and I did them really late at night and the lighting in my house is just appalling so I couldn't video them unfortunately but I thought I'd give you a peek at what I've been up to. So a lot of them, I have a, um, a Pinterest account under, I think it's Adele Toomey. So if you look me up, um, I might put a link in the thingamajiggy below if you want to check it out. And I have a board that's got 12 by 12 inspiration and it's been sitting there for a while. And I thought, do you know what? That's what it's there for. It's there to inspire me and to look at. So I opened it up and scrap lifted a few things, a couple of Wilna things and a couple of other um, just random layouts that I found online. So the first one is called Awesome. And this photo is of my husband and I on our first wedding anniversary. We went to our favourite cafe, um, the Glass Hung Inn at Long Jetty, if you're ever near the entrance way. It's a beautiful, very hip star, very trendy and we love it. So that's the first layout. And I just, I did a little bit of layering here with some, some tissue paper and some papers from the Kiss Kiss crepe paper collection. Um, this 12 by 12 piece I think is Amy Tan stitched. I'm trying to work, I've got two 12 by 12 paper pads by accident. So I'm trying to get through those. And here I just layered a whole heap of um, different embellishments. I color coded my embellishments last week. And so I found all these ones that I've forgotten I had, of course. Um, so I used some of those as well as some bits from the new D. Lizzie line and the new Kiss Kiss line. Like that's from the Kiss Kiss, as is that sticker. So that's the first one. And just quite basic. I didn't do ink splatters or anything on here. I just wanted to leave the, your focus on this giant embellishment cluster. That was my lamp. Oh. Um, next up, this one is called, let's call it Best Ever. <laughs> I'm so bad with titles. Um, and this is a picture of my hubby and his best friend um, out to dinner one night. And a similar type of thing. I just wanted to have the embellishments just trickling down. Quite a boyish layout. I used some gesso and some gelatos to do a little background piece. And this is scrap lifted off one of the Pinterest layouts. So you might be able to figure out. It's one that's got a black and white like arrow design at the top. So that's the kind of idea I went with. And just few embellishments here and there, some 3D things, so some wood veneer, enamel dots, little hearts, oh sorry, they're not hearts, Adele, some flowers, so yeah, just a nice little basic layout so that your eye kind of goes to the photo and, and stays there. And once again, I think this is from Stitch, this back one, this could be Pen Pals, I'm not totally sure, sorry. Um, next up is this one that was inspired by Wilna and I just wanted to go crazy and get some embellishments used up. And I think it kind of works because they kind of fade into the gelatos and um, the, the bold black piece on the side I think works quite well. So the outside paper's from Stitched, I know that for sure. This is from, let me get the packet. That is from the Prima Forever Green and it's an eight and a half by 11 and it's just got some beautiful, beautiful pieces. So there's that text one. So that was really, really pretty. And I haven't used it yet. That was the first piece I'd used. So happy with how that worked out. And that one's called Smile because I wanted to make that pop out a little bit. So it's the only kind of hot pink element on there. Once again just using my gelatos. I'm slowly getting used to them. Slowly. And layering up. Tissue paper is my new favourite thing to layer with. <laughs> um, this next one is called Best Bros and it's a picture of my husband and two of his brothers. 
and my husband's one of seven, so he has quite a lot of siblings, and I'm an only child. Um, so, and his parents have very many, very many. That is great English, Adele. They have lots of brothers and sisters, and my parents only have one each. So, yeah. Our families are quite different in size, so this is just a really nice photo of them um, hugging. It's taken near Christmas, and I just did, I found this Parker um, ink that I had, that my husband had actually. He got a, um, a feathered quill a long, long time ago as a present, probably while he was still in late primary school, maybe. Um, and he's had that ink for ages, so I've, I've, repurposed it and may have stolen it off him and I'm using it as my ink splatters and I really really like the quality of the ink so I just laid a few things and I put this um I put the photo up a little bit if you can tell just because it looked really flat when I put it up and I wanted to have a bit of white space to contrast with the rest of it so these papers I went through my scrap box so there's some from Stitch some from pen pals. I know those hearts are um, There's probably some kiss kiss in there too and some open book those spots are from open book um, So just a big collection and the XO are is an old Heidi swap um, ephemera pack. So that's best bros now this one you know when you're scrapping and you get to a point where You just you're done. You really just need to go. Okay. I'm going to back away now. Yeah, well, that was probably five minutes into this layout and I kept going. So it's giant and there's so many embellishments and it's a bit OTT, but it's done now. So we're going to go with it. Um, there are so many embellishments on this. It's really like quite heavy with embellishments, but I used my hot glue gun, so that was fun. Um, I've got, let's see, this is an open book. Um, book paper and I've been looking at it wanting to do something with it for ages and I haven't been able to and then a photo of hubby and me and just a whole collection there's old dear Lizzie fifth and frolic I think there's some Kayser craft there's some um, kiss kiss um, more dear Lizzie some enamel dots or flowers scattered in there's a punch these out from some gold paper um, Maggie Holmes stickers, uh, doily chucked in there, and of course these gold um, titles that I'm obsessed with. And I just added a bit of a roller stamp down the bottom. I didn't bother doing a date for this because it's, it was just a random photo. I don't even remember when it was from last year sometime. So that's that one, and that is called Document. And the last one, it's one of my favourites, is called My Love. And um, this is scrap lifted off a layout that I found on Pinterest. I love this paper. This is from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity collection. And I do cut out the center of my border photos most of the time. Most of the time I cut out the center of the border paper. Unless it's one of those papers that has just been sitting in my collection for too long. And I've just been trying to use it up and haven't. So it's no loss if it is one of those ones so let's close up on this so just did a little bit up here with some stamping some old brads and a little tiny word sticker and lots of layering here and I also put this one up on some foam tape um, over here I just cut out some sorry the focus just cut out a few different hearts using the kiss kiss paper and I hand stitched down the centre with some pink embroidery cotton, a couple of enamel dots, and that was that layout done. I'm really happy with how that one turned out. I did some, the first thing I did was the gelatos, of course. Um, and I've been liking those lately. I haven't ever really played with them before. I've only had them for a little while, but um, yeah, having fun playing with those. So thanks for watching, guys. So I did, so this is two nights worth. One two crazy one three four five six and they're just all using bits and pieces from my stash that are just 
lying around asking to be used. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys, and I will have another Inspiration at Home um, layout up at the end of the week. Uh, it's a 12 by 12 layout this time, and then my next one will be a Project Life um, inspired layout. And I should also have a couple of Project Life pages. I've got a voice over them tonight, probably. Um, so they'll be up on the weekend. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.